Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brent Barbano. I'm uh, one of the co-founders here at ShareGrid. Uh, and believe it or not, this is actually my first video for ShareGrid on YouTube. Um, kind of talking to you about my ideas, my thoughts, my findings as a DP here in Los Angeles. Um, and today to kick it off, I want to talk about the Canon C700. I was so lucky uh, to be invited to their uh, awesome event last week at the uh, wonderful ASC uh, Clubhouse. And I got to talk to other Canon uh, owners, Canon reps. I actually got to try out the camera. And I might actually have a picture of me. There it is. There's me holding the uh, camera. I put the C700 on my shoulder. I messed with the menu settings. Um, and really just kind of had a nerd fest for a night with a bunch of other uh, cinematographers. It, it was a great event. So today I wanted to share with you my findings, what I love the most about this camera. So number one, the thing that got me so excited and it clearly shows that they are listening to uh, us is that it comes with a codex recorder uh, which attaches on the back of it. It records raw and it's kind of like, you know, when you're shooting on red and then afterwards you get to adjust white balance and color temperature and tint and your S curve and a million other things. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's very necessary if you're trying to compete with um, Harry and Red and, and the others. And I saw proof of that. So at this event at, at the ASC Clubhouse, um, they premiered the C700 with this amazing commercial called The Calling. I mean, I'm not surprised because Canon has, has done such a great job at dealing with highlights and dealing with shadows and noise and everything like that. The color grade on this was just so impressive, seeing the shadows just being in the right place for shadows and not being noisy and then the highlights with the, the bright nuclear sun and the clouds that usually clip pretty easily in highlights. I was really impressed with how well that held up. Not too surprised because I've done tons of work with the C300s, both Mark 1s and Mark 2s, and I've seen how well that sensor holds up. But um, to then see it on the C700 and then see the color grade that they did was awesome. And I think a, a, a final note about that was at the event they talked about it and they talked about almost being liberated with the lack of resources, lack of manpower, lack of budget and time that they had on the shoot. As a DP, he would have liked to have brought in a bounce and brought up the shadow on the subject's face, but they didn't have a lot of time. And they trusted their waveform, they looked at the waveform, they knew that they had the information there and they knew that they'd be able to fix it in post, which I hate to say, but with digital cinematography getting so good nowadays, that's kind of where things are going, which is a whole other video. We won't get into that today. And so to hear uh, an Oscar winning cinematographer talk about that and say that that's exactly what their thought process was out there um, while shooting this film, I thought was really um, awesome and very humbling. And uh, I think that speaks a lot to Canon and their image technology that they've come up with with the C700. So the second thing that I loved about this camera was the control panel. Canon clearly is trying to market this camera at not just the indie filmmakers, but the bigger budget films, which I completely respect. And what this control panel is, is it's for the dummy side of the camera. What that means is the non-operator side of the camera where usually the first ACs hang out and control your settings and pull focus and et cetera. And this control panel now allows access to the menu settings, the camera settings, and, and everything uh, that you can kind of control within the camera. The third is global shutter. Thank you. So you've probably seen in the past with, especially the C700's predecessors, C100, which is right here, a C300, C500, they all have a kind of a rolling shutter problem. Um, what that means is that each individual line is being recorded separately. So when you're doing fast motion, it can't keep up and you get what they call a jello effect. If you're shooting out the side of a window of a car and you're looking at a guardrail or a fence or something, it's all gonna be doing this, it's all at an angle. Global shutter is every line of resolution is now being recorded at the exact same time, which is um, pretty amazing for motion. Um, I'm a big fan of that, so kudos to Canon for finally doing that. The fourth thing that I loved about this camera was that it has now the ability to shoot anamorphic in 4.5K. Prior to the C700, some of Canon's cameras um, didn't have an anamorphic setting. So what that means is all the settings were assumed to be spherical, which didn't uh, de-squeeze the image. Anamorphic captures images in a, uh, a much more horizontal, for lack of a better term, uh, way. 
and squeezes it into one frame and then in theory the camera then reconverts it back out to an anamorphic aspect ratio. And this is the first, I believe, of Canon's line of cameras that is now doing that, which I think is pretty rad um, and pretty much needed. And again, another nod to big time cinematographers that this camera is ready to be used on bigger budget films. Fifth and maybe not the sexiest thing, but fifth thing that kind of excites me is the uh, internal ProRes recording. So now this camera can record internal ProRes up to 4K at 30 frames per second. There is an honorable mention. I would say that the other thing that I really liked was the Smart EVF. The EVF has menu settings inside of it. Sounds like the <laughs> Mira, but I love that. Why not listen to uh, your competitors and follow suit? So that's it. Those are the five things that I, I really enjoyed about the camera. I plan to do more videos like this where I get to kind of share my findings and my discoveries as a not only a co-founder of ShareGrid, but as a DP here in Los Angeles. So please uh, leave your comments and questions below, subscribe and tune in for our next video coming up hopefully pretty soon and uh, get out there and start shooting. Thank you so much.